The Government Champions Program run by the Queensland Government and by this department is a program that sees a Director General um, allocated to a particular remote or discrete Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander community. It represents an opportunity for a Director General, one of my colleagues at the most senior levels of government, to have a, a very uh, explicit relationship with a uh, a remote or discrete Aboriginal community. And what that does is allows that particular individual to have to confront and be engaged with the complexities that exist in, in the lives and livelihoods of some of our people and some of our communities. Even things as simple as distance, you know, appreciating that um, it's not as easy as just getting on a flight and flying to a particular place. Sometimes it takes two or three days to get to some places. Coming to grips with some of those things makes us realise that uh, communities are different and we need to engage them and we need to understand them differently. Uh, it's a program, it's, it's had a long life, but the latest iteration of the program started in 2014 and that's when our Director General was assigned to the Warabinda community and I've supported him in that role ever since. The program itself is designed to um, break down barriers to service delivery that all Indigenous communities um, are subject to, as well as um, provide them with a voice in government. So our Director General will come back, liaise with his cohort and just get things moving that the community need rather than go through the red tape and bureaucracy. Well, I um, directly support the Director General. So um, we have, we are required to be out in the community four times a year. That's one of the DATSIP um, performance measures. Uh, but generally speaking, I do all the administrative side of things as well as uh, liaison points across other departments. So obviously not everything gets done at Director General level. So all the, the sort of, I guess, the grunt work that has to be done across departments there's a network of government champion support officers, so we all work together to uh, get whatever needs to be done for individual communities as well as Warabinda. It's just a good way to work in partnership. Um, it's, it's sort of, I mean, having been assigned to a community would sort of imply that, yeah, we'll go out there and we'll say, well, this is what we need, but it, it's, it's not like that at all. It's um, it's our invitation comes from the community and the work that is required is what they tell us, not sort of the other way around. And we're just getting better results working that way, as you do in all partnerships. You know, there's a recognition of each other's strengths um, and, and making sure that, you know, if they, for anyone dealing with government bureaucracy, it's, it's quite painful. So to eliminate that for a community or a body of people is, is a really good thing to be able to do. And then the benefits that flow into the community are, are really great as well. So obviously being there since 2014, we've seen a lot of tangible outcomes in terms of the infrastructure that's been developed and that has worked really well as a transport and infrastructure agency. It's also providing that long-term sustainable employment, economic development opportunities, um, all of those things that just come from having a job and having a sustainable industry. So we've been able to work with the community to do that as well. You know, we're very lucky to have our Director General who's very focused on advancing these opportunities. Um, so I think, you know, we'll probably go from strength to strength to be perfectly honest. but. It'd be great to get to a place where targets are important right now because they're, um, as the DG says, they're giving communities a hand up um, rather than the hand out. So it's, it's great to get people employed and give them jobs and opportunities. But the day needs to come where it's just natural. It's just how we do business. And regardless of who people are, people are employed on merit and they do a great job. And that's what you hear from the community as well. They don't want to be sort of treated as um, the poor cousin, if you like, and given these opportunities just because of who they are, they, need, they want to be competitive and they want to have, um, they want to determine themselves for themselves. I like to think that through the Government Champions Program, my colleagues as very senior directors general 
um, have really had their thinking stretched and um, I think have been energised and excited by having to confront those complexities and the nuances and the differences and the magic and the richness of our remote and discrete communities uh, and put them in a position where they are better placed to be able to understand them uh, and how to respond to the needs of those particular places.